right you guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be the last clips of this vlog which will be for day five so i can start editing it is 6 15 um if you can see or if you saw the previous clips before this one you would have seen what i did today hubby was home today so we actually had lunch together we did a little shopping and i'm going to show you guys what i got from bath and body work and at the end i'll tell you like about the whole social distancing and the line and all that good stuff so i picked up only 12 candles i spent a total of 129 dollars which is great because these candles are usually 24 50 and most of you know because i know a lot of you buy bath and body works candles and who wants to pay 24 54 a candle so um let's get started i i bought a few of my favorites that i love to smell and then i bought the rest for gifts so um i already took some of them out of i took the first six out of the bag this is the bag that they gave me with the little carton inside and i saw i don't know like Cause some people were asking for those bags and the people were just like oh no you have to spend or get a certain amount of money so they were giving them to some people but not everybody i i don't know they gave me that bag at the register because i had the paper bag so i don't know but these bags are good because i could reuse that so let's get started all right so this one is a gift i'm gonna be going to someone let me put this here this one is called you are the one um, this is new for me. I've never smelled this before, but I thought that the jar was so cute It actually kind of reminds me of Valentine's Day, but um, I have a girlfriend that would love this and It smells really really good. It actually smells like some sort of um, powdery buttery sort of lotion and I think that she will will enjoy this so the notes are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar with essential oils. Ooh, that sounds so good. All right, so that's the first one that's a gift. The next one is for my house. Usually these are the, the only candles that we buy are the aromatherapy ones. I do buy a few that are not aromatherapy, but I only burn them in my space. You know, whether I'm in my office or basically that's it the office because everywhere else is basically common the common space the bedroom you know my husband i'm not gonna bombard him with these girly smells like this is new though this is eucalyptus and spearmint not just eucalyptus so i think this one is new or different to me i don't i've never seen this or smelled this one so that's for the house also another staple that i always get is the mahogany teak wood I really like this one because it's masculine without being it smells like you know yeah for the women out there with husbands like it smells like you know when your husband puts his cologne on and y'all go out and like you rub up against him and you be like oh you smelling good <laughs> to me this is what it smells like without being like overpowering and i know that i could burn this like in the main areas and my husband wouldn't be like oh what is that smell he likes this one actually so that's for the house then the next two are gifts for some of my other girlfriends girlfriends so this one is the cactus blossom and this one smells like to me it smells like a fruity shampoo like clean but fruity uh, the notes in this is cactus, flower, petal, sun-kissed coconut, vanilla, fresh sparkling lemon with essential oils. So this is another gift. So I'm separating home and gift. I don't know how I'm going to get these people these gifts because guess what? Everything is shut down now. Did I did I mention that my job just sent me? I don't know if I did. Because I just got off the phone with my cousin. I don't know if I told her or was vlogging. My job is shut down again. It's We, we back to be in quarantine because New York's numbers are surging surging and i'll talk about that after let's let's get through the through the candle haul so this is strawberry pound cake and it smells just like strawberry pound cake and this is perfect for one of my girlfriends who, perfect from one of my girlfriends who is a baker she will love she will love that i'll just throw this in i just ordered this today it's so cute it's a little black and gold mouse because my job computer i hate i hate windows computers i'm sorry if anybody you know 
you know y'all windows computer people this is just about me <laughs> no shade to anybody else i'm used to using a mac computer since i was like 17 and i just it just could be that i'm not used to the windows interface but if you a mac user you already know they they make these computers very user friendly and they just to me they're so much better than windows computers but i have had to use the windows computer because i'm working from home and i can't use the mac and it just annoys me so the mouse pad is just like i'm i'm not sure how to i had to google how to hold down to select multiple things job i'm done so this is the mahogany teak wood as well but this one is the high intensity one so um i've never seen these and it is a little stronger than the regular one so this is the regular this is the regular one hold on and this is the high intensity one all right so that's bag one bag two you guys is this bag here and there's six more candles which i should have taken out right i don't think there's enough room on my desk let's just get through it okay so then i picked up another one i think i'm gonna keep this one this is the watermelon watermelon lemonade and it's like reminds me of the summer like it's fruity the notes are on the bottom but fresh so watermelon ice sparkling water and Meyer lemon that's that's the notes they smell good to me then I got this one's also for me because this smell this smells so good I have never smelled this before but this one is called love it's also from the aromatherapy line and you could tell this has a lot of essential oil in, oil in it because it's so strong. So it smells like roses, but also with like baby powder. If I had to describe it, that's before I read the notes. The notes are pink, pink rose petals, dewy peony, sweet vanilla. This way it looks like. That's mama's. That's mine. Okay, so. The next one is the winter candy apple it's this one this one's i don't know if i want to give this one away or keep it i do like this one i'm not really a uh foodie food apples or food food candles type of person i usually don't like the food ones but this one smells good it smells like apples but with like freshness the notes are apples pears oranges delicious <laughs> so i'm not sure if i'm giving that as a gift or i'm keeping that i'm not sure and this one is the island papaya i'm trying to catch this light for you guys i apologize this is my phone just my old phone at that oh this smells good this smells just like you on an island like the the fruity drinks but you done wrapped yourself in in um adorned yourself in coconut oil and you drinking a, a island drink that's what this smells like island papaya it's tropical coconut fresh papaya sugar cane it smells good keeping that one try not to drop these ones okay black tie is also another candle that i always buy from there again this is a scent that reminds me of domain <sighs> smoky it's like a smoky cologne type scent Ooh. that's what it looks like so this one is for the house and the last one i got is the eucalyptus mint now i think this is new too but it smells so damn good eucalyptus is like i said the one that we usually get because it's so fresh and relaxing but this is eucalyptus mint it smells a little fresher than um the ones that we used to get so this is made with sweet spearmint lemon peel and clary sage and it smells like all of those things so that's that this is also mine um so one two three four five are gifts and the rest were mine um six maybe may be gifts depending on 
you know if I decide to keep it or not but so I am basically done with my Christmas shopping let me know in the comments have you started are you done are you not being bothered you know Christmas is a wrap like everybody's situation is different you know so let me know what y'all plans are what's going on for the holidays for you guys if you celebrate Christmas if you don't because a lot of people don't um anyway long story wrapped up the place where we went um everybody was so nice like i was just so pleasantly surprised at like the people did i get a discount it says i saved a hundred and 174 dollars you guys i saved 174 dollars anyway i just noticed that i saw it out the corner of my eye all right sorry sidebar get back over here so <laughs> um people were so pleasant today like when we were walking into the mall everybody was coming out with a bath and body works bag so i decided that i was going to ask somebody like what is it like and is it crazy is the line crazy so this lady at first i think she i don't know like if she was trying to ignore me i have no idea but then i was like excuse me again and then she's like oh you know like i think she heard me like i was like right in her face but i'm not sure I'm not going to assume. Maybe she didn't hear me. Maybe she was focused on getting to her car. Her bag was super heavy, I'm sure, because she had mad games. So, yeah. I asked her, I said, um, could you just tell me, know if it's crazy in there? Like, have you, um, how long did you wait on the line, blah, blah, blah. And then she started talking to, to me. She's like, oh my goodness, the line is super long. It's wrapped all the way by another store, but it's worth it. Go in there. Um, you're going to wait only 10 minutes, whatever. I have a coupon for you. And then she was taking her time to look for this coupon. And she ended up, said she ended up not having it. She thought she had more than one. And I was just like so appreciative. I was like, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to even look for me like that. That was really nice. You know, people don't, people don't be trying to be bothered, especially in the, in the COVID situation. Anyway, fast forward, we walk in. Everybody and their mama got a Bath and Body Works bag. So we wasn't exactly sure where the store was located. So then we stopped somebody else and was like, hi, you just came from Bath and Body Works. Could you just point us in the right direction of where the store is? And then it's another nice lady. She's like, oh, honey, no problem. Um, they have everything. They have everything. Everything sold out online. And I knew everything was sold out online because I went online before I went to the store. And everything was already sold out. Mostly all the good stuff is sold out. So she pointed us in the right direction and like told us, you know, don't worry, 10 minutes. Everybody was just so nice, right? So we get to where the line is. It was a little confusing because they had the people that were waiting online far away from where the actual store was. And I had no clue that White Barn was affiliated with Bath and Body Works. I mean, did y'all know that? I do all the, have the candles always been white barn? Always said white barn? Because in the store I went to, there was a white barn store and then it was Bath and Body Works. So I know Bath and Body Works has other stuff, you know, like the soaps and the lotions. Blah, blah, blah. I know that there was a, a difference between white barn, Bath and Body Works. Did y'all know that? Anywho, so there was separate stores. There was a white barn and then it was the Bath and Body Works. And they basically make you come in one way. You come in through the entrance of Bath and Body Works and then you can walk through. Mostly they had the holiday candles in the Bath and Body Works section. And then when you walked around to the white barn section, that's when they had everything, you know. So they were absolutely right. We didn't even wait 10 minutes. We might have wait, waited six minutes. We saw people come and go like, oh, I'm not waiting on that damn line. line. Y'all crazy. Uh, nah, go. I'm going to just shop online. So one lady was like, oh, I'm not waiting on that. I'm just going to shop online. I was like, miss, everything's sold out online. Don't 10 minutes. You're going to wait 10 minutes. And then later on, she's like, thank you so much, sweetheart, because I definitely would have left. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no problem, because I would want somebody to tell me. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get home. You didn't wait. You get online. Everything you want sold out. Who You ain't trying to come back outside. Anywho, so we get in the store, and my husband... You know, he had all the girls in his office that he wanted to buy a candle for. Um, like, he had his little list. And I was like, are you good? And then all the little girlies in there that were helping was asking him if he need help. And he was like, oh, yeah. You know, I just need to know a little bit about the candles. And I was like, all right, well, they going to help you. So I'm going to skedaddle and go over here and do my thing, right? So they were helping him. It was great. It was like two girls helping him pick out candles. He had 24 candles. And let me tell y'all, he was only supposed to be able to buy. 18 18 was the max but because these little girlies and stuff was helping him they let him buy 24 candles that shit ain't right that shit ain't right because there was a lady in there she wanted to buy 50 candles and they told her no like 50 candles she was trying to give everybody 
anywho so you know i walked around you'll see some footage and i was smelling you know the candles i would not i was not familiar with now they had signs that said um six feet the please stay six feet apart there was no way in the world that people could have stayed six feet apart the, the, the y'all know most bath and body works are but so big and it was mad people in there. There was no way we could have we could have six we could have just six feet apart. I think everybody was trying to do their best, like to just you know social distance. But then people were pulling down their masks because they wanted to smell the candles. So some of this stuff is just idiotic, and the rules are stupid. And listen, if somebody had they they mask on and then they coughed into a candle and you picked it up, like that's why I'm gonna wipe down all of these candles with uh, disinfectant. I have this disinfectant spray right here, child. And it's not super harsh, so it won't peel off like any of the stickers or whatever. So, um, yeah, I smelled almost every freaking candle in there. Um, and these are the 12 that I bought. Um, and that was basically that. The, the women at the counter were very nice. People were coming up to me. Oh, do you need help? Do you want us to take those candles, put them behind the counter? Like, they were just very nice. I just had an overall great experience. Good job, Bath & Body Works the one by me they they did a great job with organizing customer service was excellent everything was on point what else yeah and then my husband and i went to have lunch we had a great lunch he's funny as hell like just keeps me laughing and you know our personalities are very similar but also very different and i think that's why we we go well together but a virgo and a leo we are both very strong-headed people so we do clash sometimes but it's okay because we have matured and we are able to walk away relax relate release come back figure it out get shit done okay so that's all you guys i hope you enjoyed today's vlog i'm trying really hard to bring y'all new stuff mixed in with the old stuff so this is a newer one today will be day five and i'm watching all you girls who are um doing vlogmas if you are doing vlogmas and i haven't seen your video it means because i haven't seen it pop up in my subscriptions please let me know if you're doing it so i can come and watch you and check you out show you love support um, because some of my subscriptions, people I'm subscribed to, your stuff does not pop up in my subscriptions. And it's annoying. But you know, this is YouTube. This, this, this is just how it goes. So I will keep you guys updated on what else is going on in my life. Quarantine. Again. Catch you guys later.